Hip shingles. Hip and ridge shingles are mitered to fit nailed and covered using the hip and ridge accessory. Before installing hip and ridge cap, place a 6 inch wide strip of peel and stick high temperature on top of the cut shingles hip and ridge. Note, ensure peel and stick is not exposed after cap installation. Okay, now with your hip, this panel comes over, can just be raw cut all the way up your hip. You come back on the other side, engage this one, leaving it a couple inches long. So then when you get up the top, you can now roll that over. Hip and ridge. All right, now you can just take your hip and ridge, bring it over the top. It takes two fasteners into this back flange. And then a stitch screw into the top here. Just remember, anything through the top needs to be sealed and chipped. When engaging your next one, come up close and engage. Make sure you're not dragging across your ridge to damage the surface. And fasten off with your two fasteners. As an alternate, you can cut off your hook so you can slide it underneath the rake cover. Get it in and fasten it off as normal. So to create your bottom cap, you can just modify one of these in the field. Just scratch and score, make your cuts and bends. Okay, so now you can take that hook that's been formed and you're going to catch it on your starter. Pull it up, make sure you're staying in a straight line and fasten it off as normal. Vented Ridge Cut and bend top shingle to create a water stop at the vent cut in the decking. Install vent material and cover with ridge cap. Do not over tighten ridge cap to ensure the vent material can perform as required. Okay, now for a vented ridge, you have to form a water stop in your panel. Pull it up tight and fasten it off. Keeping in mind that you will be covering this with the vent material and the cap. So now go on ahead and run caulking along both of these so that you keep that water tight. Bring your caps on just like they were at any other time. Again, being cautious to not drag across the edge. You can use a shim to gauge your thickness. Do not over compress these fasteners so you can maintain your vent. For additional information, please visit www.gerardusa.com.